this video, we're going to look at the hyperlink function in Excel. Now, you can use this function to set hyperlinks to jump around to different areas on the same sheet. You can use it to set links to jump around to different tabs in the same workbook. Or you can use it to open different files on your network drive. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today on this first tab called Summary we have just some very simple sales summary data for four different branch locations I have additional data down here I have links to the right that go to the different tabs for each of these branch locations I also have a link to go down to a chart down here that's in the lower section of the same sheet so when I click on this it takes us directly to the chart I have a link to go back up to the top. I can click on any one of these branch links to go to the detail tab for that branch. I have a link to go back to the summary. On this east branch tab, I have links to the different invoices that relate to each one of these orders. So if I click on any one of these, I'll get a message just asking me to make sure that this is a safe link and it is because I created it so just click yes and then it automatically opens that invoice number from a folder on my network drive so in this first example what we want to do is add a link to a different area on the same sheet so we want to add a link from the top here that takes us directly down to this chart and add a link here that goes back up to the top. So when we click that link to go down to this chart, what I want is this full chart to be visible, not just like half of it. So we want to add a cell reference directly below the chart. So we're going to use F42 as our cell reference in the link we insert up top here. So we're going to insert the hyperlink function. The first input is our link location. Now we are typing our cell reference in so the syntax here requires that you insert it in double quotes and proceed that cell reference with a number symbol. So we have F42 that is our first input and then the second input is just the friendly name we want to display in this cell that contains the hyperlink so we're just gonna say go to chart and that should be that so now I'll click this takes us directly down to the chart so we want to add a link to go back up to the top so this time I'm gonna use a cell reference of G1 We have the number symbol and then our cell reference in double quotes and then our friendly name we'll just say go back to top easy enough so now we want to add hyperlinks to our different sheets within the same workbook we want to add links that correspond to the different sheets for each of our four branches so before we input the formula though what I want to do is just hit equals here and then go reference any random cell on a different sheet so when I go back to this cell and hit F2 I just want to show you what a sheet reference looks like in a formula so we have our sheet name enclosed in single quotes followed by an exclamation point this is a sheet reference and then the cell so just keep that in mind as we input our hyperlink formula so we have our link location that needs to be enclosed in double quotes and begins with a number symbol and then we have a opening single quote our sheet name which is east branch closing single quote exclamation point 
and then a cell reference we'll just use cell a1 close our double quote and then our friendly name is just going to be east branch could add detail maybe we'll click on that that takes us directly to the east branch sheet now we can add a hyperlink to go back to the summary tab so that's going to be a similar process so we have number symbol single quote the name of the sheet summary closing single quote exclamation point we'll use cell g1 as the cell reference our friendly name will just be go back to summary and there that is now I can just copy down this formula and change the sheet names so we have north go to the south branch you can see that takes me directly to the south branch what we can also do is copy this formula to go back to the summary tab from the east branch so I'm just going to hit F2 to display the formula highlight the entire thing hit control C to copy it so I'm gonna hit F2 in this cell paste it in there with control V and you can do the same thing for all of these other branch locations. So I'm going to hit F2, paste, go to the West tab, F2, Control V, and that is it. So in this final example, we're going to add links on our worksheet that link to files on our network drive so that we can just click the link and the files just open. So I'm going to go to the East Branch tab and in column C, we're going to add hyperlinks that correspond to each one of these order numbers so that when the link is clicked, it opens up the invoice that relates to each of these orders. So here is the path that contains a folder for each one of our branch locations. So I'm going to click on the East branch. You can see we have invoice PDF files that have the same file name as the cell values in column A and the file names have to be the same as the cell values for this to work. So I'm going to copy this path that contains the invoices. I'm just going to paste it up top here. And now one very important thing here, I'm going to hit F2 in that cell and on the end of this I'm going to add another slash. So there needs to be another slash on the end because we're going to insert this in our hyperlink formula and join it to this file name here. So I'm going to insert the hyperlink. This is going to be a little different this time for the first argument. We don't, we're not required to enclose it in double quotes because the path is a cell reference. It also does not need a number symbol in front of it since it's a path. So going to click on D1 now I'm going to drag this formula down eventually and I always want it to point to this cell so I'm going to hit F4 or add dollar signs in front of both the column and row reference that just keeps that cell locked it will always point to that cell I'm going to use the and symbol to join this to our file name which is the value in cell A3 now we need to add a file extension to this so we're going to add another and symbol and then in double quotes dot 
PDF. So that is everything we need for that first argument. So comma and then our friendly name. We could say go to file or we could just use the file name in this cell, which I think I'll just do that. So now when we click on this, we're going to get this warning message. It's kind of pesky, but it's just the default message. So once you click yes, it opens that file. And the nice thing here is I can just drag this down and we made these cell references relative so that it's just going to open whatever related file it is. So I'll show one more quick example with different file type. We'll use an Excel file type. So what I can do here is copy this formula and I'm gonna to go to the West branch and just paste that in there now we need to add a path so I'm gonna go back to the West branch folder you can see we have Excel files instead of PDFs so I'm gonna copy that paste the formula or I'm sorry the path up here don't forget to add a backslash on the end of this and I need to hit F2 and change this extension to .xlsx. And there is that Excel file invoice. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.